Hello everyone, we are Kel and Lore. Today we show you a story of with sauce cream shoujo juice. Sunscreen comes in many forms, each with its own effects on your body and environment. With so many options, how do you choose which sunscreen is bad for you? To answer the question, we first have to understand how sunscreen works. Sunlight is composed of ultramagnetic waves and is a primary source of ultraviolet radiation, which has a shorter wavelength than visible light and carries more energy. UVA, UVB, and UVC are classified according to their wavelengths. Short wavelengths, UVC, never reaches the Earth's surface, but UVB and UVA do. Medium wavelengths, UVB rays can enter the skin cancer, skin cancer, superficial layers, and long lengths, UVA rays can penetrate into the deeper layers. UVB in small amount actually have make us vitamin D, which enables our bodies to build and maintain strong bones. However, prolonged exposure to UVA and UVB can damage DNA, age your skin, and promote development of potentially deadly skin cancer. So, what differentiates one sunscreen from another? When we choose a sunscreen, we can compare application method, the SPF, and the active ingredients. Sprays can be convenient to put on, especially when you're wet. But a recent study found that most people don't apply thick enough to let get full protection. And the possible health risk in having sunscreen compounds from a spray cloud might make you cons consider lifting for the bottle of water instead. Old from sunscreen with an SPF list 50, although sorry is better. SPF pneumonia scale how much UVB radiation is needed to give protect in a summer. SPF 15 does a pretty good job by blocking 93% of UVB rays. You get a slight increase. As SPF goes up, with SPF 30 blocking 97% and 15 blocking 98%. SPF is based on the quantity of solar exposure. So, how much time you have before you start to burn really depends on a long list of factors, including your genetics, when, where, and how you spend your time in the sun. U.S. market sunscreen has been deemed safe by FDA. Scientists are st still reaching to change the impact of many active ingredients on the human body. So, if you worry about potential irritants for good for mineral based travelers, we think of oxide or titanium dioxide. If a drug may be gonna be thick at first, they are less intelligent than carbon based tenure sunscreen. Thank you for watching, everyone. Oh.